goes from semester to semester, from year to year. So that certainly illustrates that the financial aid office is, is as committed to recruitment as we are retention. Yeah. You know, all of the aid awards that we make, it takes four years to be successful. Exactly. So those awards are, are, are renewable for each of the four years, right? Students have some responsibility. Welcome everyone to Navigating Financial Aid. We're here at Roanoke College. It is my pleasure to be here with the Director of Financial Aid, Tommy Blair. Thank you for doing this. Nice to have you here, Alex. Oh, it's really good. And I gotta tell you, you I mean, there's a, there's a legacy. If there's anyone to talk to you about Roanoke College, we're gonna get into the financial aid and scholarships and all of that, but you're just like a legacy here. I've been around for a while. Yeah, <laughs> they keep the dinosaurs up in the attic where my office is. Well, I think um, it's all fun because, I mean, yeah. you know, when, when you know a place so yeah. well, yeah. you can tell we've been talking before we started rolling on this. You care. Yeah. You know, you Graduated care. in 85, started working in the financial aid office in 89. Um, and actually, our office, we've got uh, a total of four staff members. Um, two of them have been parents of Roanoke College alumni. The other two are Roanoke College alumni themselves. Um, we were talking yesterday, we have over 100 years of experience in the office, <laughs> yeah, in the financial aid office, oh, between the great. four of us, that's over 100 years of experience. So certainly very committed to providing access to our students here at Roanoke. Yeah, and, and you all do such an amazing job. This episode of the College Tour is going to be phenomenal. It's a beautiful campus, great location. But let's get into, you know, one of the, you know, more challenging or, you know, um, you know, some people, this is, a, this is a, sometimes of a scary aspect to like, yeah. how much is it going to cost? Like, where do I go get yeah. all this information? So let's just go big picture. Can you just kind of lay the land and set the table for financial aid, scholarships, the money that is available sure. um, for students? And then we can kind of get into how do, yeah. how do students like go from there to actually right. figuring out um, how to get so it. Start so, with that big picture yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, you know, you, 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 you have primarily three sources of financial aid. Um, that we're going to work with, again, primarily, and that's the institution number one, Roanoke College, uh, works hard to provide access to our students, has made a significant financial mm -hmm. commitment to scholarships and grants. Um, of course, the, the Commonwealth of Virginia is another source of financial aid for our Virginia residents. Uh, there is a grant program called TAG, the Tuition Assistance Grant, mm -hmm. for our Virginia residents who stay in state and uh, attend any one of our private institutions, which... I've got yeah. one that I put at the top of that list, uh, yeah, of course, right. right? Roanoke College. Um, and, and then, of course, the federal government. Uh, mm -hmm. And federal government, um, you know, from, from federal sources, you do have the federal Pell Grant, which is mm -hmm. sort of a cornerstone of the, of the Fed's financial aid programs. And then that ugly four-letter word loan creeps into the picture as well yeah. when we get the Feds involved. And the FAFSA, the Free yeah. Application for Federal Student Aid, um, of course, is, is, is really your you know, your ticket to ride as far as the federal financial aid is concerned. Anytime the word financial need, mm -hmm. um, which I prefer to look at as eligibility for need-based aid, right. right? For me to look at a piece of paper and tell a family they don't need something. Yeah. I learned early on that's not appropriate. <laughs> yeah, you know? But to talk about a family being yeah. eligible for or yeah, not right. eligible it's, for, it's no, better, just it's stating a much fact, better way to say right? it. Yeah. It's not as subjective. Yeah. Um, but the FAFSA, you know, we've, we've had our bumps in the road this year with the FAFSA, but we're close to having that resolved. Mm -hmm. And all the families who have completed, you know, that, that FAFSA, that information will begin to roll in. Um, and we'll evaluate a student, uh, again, from those three primary sources, the institution, Commonwealth of Virginia, and federal government. Um, the, the, the primary, the, the criterion that we're looking at, I mentioned one, of course, being financial need or eligibility for need-based financial aid, and the FAFSA will determine a student's eligibility there. The other criterion that really we would have hit before the FAFSA is merit-based aid. Mm -hmm. um, and fully transparent there, there's a, a table at our website that talks about GPA equals X number of dollars. Can we, can we lay can we lay out that that website um, or their page where where they should go? Yeah, where they go. Yeah, do, um, do you, yeah, just like where, where, where should let's tell the audience where where should they go? Yeah, like because I want to almost say like let's do it like this. Step one, right? You know what I mean? Right. Apply. Yeah. I want to come here. Yep. What do you think? Step one is it? Do they go to a web, do they go to your website and start filling stuff out? Do they yeah. contact your department? Yeah. How do they start figuring out from right. the city to um, the state to yeah. you know, the institution of how do you get a hold yeah. of this money to figure out you know how much this is going to cost? Absolutely. And, and and step one would be you know I'm, I'm imagining before step one the students have 
put Roanoke on the list. Visited, yeah. of course, we want a, a family, a student to visit. Um, and, 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 and Roanoke is one of those they're going to apply to. Step one is apply to admissions. Yeah. Apply for admissions. Absolutely. We're going to begin to roll out financial aid, and we'll provide that general information that's at the financial aid office webpage of the Roanoke College website. But as actually awarding financial aid will begin once a student's accepted. Mm -hmm. And that merit-based piece, um, really, as, as soon as they're the accepted. No, nope. it's just automatically apply for starts admission. rolling. Apply, apply for and admission, be accepted. Down. And with a, a student who's accepted, will receive their letter of acceptance. And in addition, an okay. outline of their, of their first step in that financial aid process, which is the merit-based piece. Mm -hmm. and, and that will consist of institutional funds and for a Virginia residents who will also include that Virginia grant that I mentioned, TAG, okay. in that initial award. Gotcha. If you're from Virginia, we're pretty confident you're going to qualify for that. Okay. So That's we'll right. include that as well. Um, you know, the merit-based aid is, is primarily based on their academic record, uh, high school grade point average. SAT scores, of course, we are a test optional school, mm -hmm. so that's not required. Uh, students are, are treated fairly whether they submit SATs or not. Okay. You know, in financial aid, we've got a lot of money that we're awarding. We've got to award it fairly and equitably and right. find systems that allow us to do that. We also have um, some other programs that um, may require an additional application. Uh, and what I mean by that is we've got some special programs that might be tied to some artistic talent. We do have some choral scholarships. We've got some music, jazz, wind ensemble scholarships, um, theater, art, those kinds of things. So fine arts do present a bit of an opportunity. Um, the college is the second oldest Lutheran college in the country. Yeah. Certainly that part of our heritage is important to yeah. Roanoke College, and we'd like to attract Lutheran students to consider Roanoke, and there's a Lutheran grant. Yeah, uh, okay. available to our Lutheran students. In each one of these different like potential scholarships grants that are available, whether it's you know in the arts or yeah. you know um, any one of those, what's the best? You know, is it a conversation with you all? Like, how does a student be like, okay, this is what I'm interested in. This is what I'm gifted in. This is yeah. what I'm trying to get money from. How do they connect those dots? Yeah, I, you know, I, I I think one of the things that's at the core of who Rono College is is personal relationships. One hundred percent. Everyone, I said this before. Sorry to interrupt right. you. I said this. I was just talking to you know everyone here about this. Everyone here is so nice. Yeah. You know, you really say, and I just want to encourage yeah. whether you're a counselor, a parent, a student, you're trying to figure out, don't be, don't hesitate to like reach out. You know right. what I mean? Pick right. up the phone because everyone yeah. is so nice. They're here to help you yeah. get from where you are to um, be in a nice position at this institution. Yeah. Sorry. So you've got that territorial representative, right, from, from the admission side of things. Mm -hmm. That's a great relationship. They're going to guide a student through really from, from application through to enrollment, then we turn them over to, to others in the institution, mm -hmm. and we're off looking for another <laughs> another group of high school seniors you know, right. before That's you right. know it. Right. Um, so, so yeah, we'll we'll piece together financial aid again. It, it apply to the college, be accepted. You're going to be considered for merit based aid, and uh, that Virginia grant that I mentioned, the Lutheran grant for our Lutheran students. Um, a separate additional action step may be those fine arts scholarships that I mentioned, mm -hmm. and 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 yeah, making contact with the choral director, making contact with the, the, the music director, um, Dr. Lachance, the choral director is Professor Piquel. Um, you know, making contact with those folks. I am, here's who I am. Yeah. Here's my experience. I'm interested in singing with you or playing you know, my instrument, whatever it may be in the ensemble. Um, I'm glad you're saying this because it's not only just a great lesson for this piece of the process, it's also a good life lesson. <laughs> You gotta raise your hands. Initiate. Yeah, yeah. initiate. Yeah. A lot can happen yeah. when you just take that first step and for say, sure. this is who I am, this is what I'm looking for, this is what I'm passionate about. You never know how that can positively affect your journey. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, in an ideal situation, financial aid sort of blends into the background, right? Mm -hmm. They're not here to get an education on financial aid, <laughs> right? And I'd like to just blend into the background. Oh. The reality is that there are some of our families, um, and, and I'm happy about this, but that we have a four-year relationship with. Mm -hmm. And it goes from semester to semester, from year to year. So that certainly illustrates that the Financial Aid Office is, is as committed to recruitment as we are retention. Yeah. You know, all of the aid awards that we make, and it takes four years to be successful. Exactly. So those awards are, are, are renewable for each of the four years, right? Students have some responsibility. They've got to maintain satisfactory academic progress. Um, any need-based awards will, you know, to reinstate, it's going to require a 
fairly steady level of financial need mm -hmm. or eligibility for need-based aid. Um, but we do make this commitment for four years, and we're going to stand by that commitment. Now, a difficult reality that, that and, and I always, I, I never want to mislead, right, in this mm -hmm. business, I mean, at the intersection of people's children and their money. Yeah. yeah. That's a pretty high-pressure place yeah. to be, you know. <laughs> no, right, so yeah, I yeah. never want to mislead. I always want to wear that no. reality hat when I need to. Costs are going to increase from year to year. Yeah. They're going to increase. The board of trustees and the leadership of the college work hard to make that cost increase, a minimum cost increase. Financial aid is not necessarily going to increase as costs increase. Mm -hmm. um, so that needs to be a part of the four-year plan. Mm -hmm. You know, A good plan is one that, that I, I'm not just yeah. reaching so far in the first year that I can make it work for this year, but yeah. one I feel like can 100%. make it work yeah. for you each of the four years. The goal is to years. graduate yeah. And, yeah. and find your purpose and find your passion Absolutely. and have that degree that you can go out and shine in the real world. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Shine brightly. That's right. Shine brightly. And you all do an amazing job with that one. I think so. I, I mean, certainly I, 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 you know, back when I was a student, I lacked discipline and focus, um, but I have enjoyed the parent role and seeing my students yeah. excel in this environment. And it's first and foremost directly related to their access to faculty. Yeah. And the relationships they build with the faculty members. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that my kids have accomplished academically, again, so far off the radar screen from where I was. You but know, can I tell you all something? based on academic. Can I tell you something? I was, I was talking, I was speaking with the president earlier and uh, just talking about the difference of watching you know what I mean? Yeah. What the way these students here are, what they're thinking about, how they want to change the world for the better. Roanoke does an amazing job making sure that you find your purpose. Like fi also finding out what you, not only just what you love to do, but what you don't like. <laughs> you know, yeah. because like because the goal is for you to have a really purpose, happy, driven life. And I think that's just a testament to this yeah. institution. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And and I, 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 I gotta tell you, that wasn't me. When I, was I mean, that was a powerful was a statement you made too. <laughs> it was Finding right? what you don't like exactly is yeah. a big part of the yeah. discovery 100%. process. You yeah. know, so not being afraid to try things. Try it. Yeah. I didn't like it. I'm moving on. Yeah, yeah. That's um, what college is all about. I definitely walk a little prouder on the academic side of the house <laughs> nowadays with my kids and their academic performance yeah. than I did with. I got out in four years. I spent all we could say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah know? Here. you know. Oh, that's um, great. So, so you know, you've got those those primary sources of financial aid: uh, the institution, the Commonwealth of Virginia for our Virginia residents, the federal government. You know, our, our reality as as families, as as I've worked in this business for a long time, I've come to the to the conclusion that, and you know, we each had three dimensions of time, and how that relates to financial aid. Right, the past is savings. If we're able to make the past work for us and save something, good on you. Mm -hmm. It took me four kids before my wife and I realized, maybe we should save something. <laughs> you know, and, 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 and I don't know why. Maybe that's that lack of discipline and focus that continues on. <laughs> but, but again, the past will serve you well if you can start saving some money. Yeah. Whatever it may yeah, be. The present-day dollars, you know, our scholarship dollars are present-day dollars to pay a present-day dollar of expenses. The family may be able to squeeze money out of their income from month to month, their mm -hmm. present income from month to month. And the future, unfortunately, as it relates to financial aid, that's where that ugly four-letter word loan comes in. Mm -hmm. And if I can't, if I wasn't able to save for it in the past, I can't pay for it in the present, I'm going to have to pay for it in the future. Yeah. And that's just a reality that that's we deal good. with. Yeah. And we'll work hard to, you know, keep that ugly four-letter word loan to a minimum, to a to yeah, the fullest degree possible. Yeah, I think everyone appreciates that, but at the same time, sometimes it's a, it's funny, it's a, I feel like today, it's like, just like it's more and more common of saying it's you know ugly four letter word. Yeah. You know I don't like I alone. Right. <laughs> you know and yeah. and I always say alone is much. You are going to be dramatically have a better life, make more money, higher chances of uh, less chances of unemployment, yeah. higher chances of making income. You look at all the statistics of what a college graduate yeah. is to a non college graduate. It is night and day. So yeah. if it didn't have anything in the past, you didn't have anything in the future. I'm not trying to promote one thing there or are the other. Options. I'm really not. I'm just yeah. saying there is an option to be yeah. like, okay, cool. This is going to, you know, life. Yeah. You only got one life, right? So yeah. within reasonable, <laughs> yeah. manageable limits. Exactly. Right? I'm not trying to promote anything limits. or not. I'm just saying. It's a great say. investment. That's what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. That provides returns in ways that without making that investment, those yeah. returns wouldn't be there. And it's generational as well. Yeah. Right? I mean, you're, you're passing that. That, that that experience and and, yeah. and, and, and and just you know the way things are done so to speak um, 
Um, That's awesome. Where else can we go with this? No, I think this is. I think this has been great. I mean, I think it, most importantly, I really want to I mean, a thank you for taking time to Absolutely. talk to the audience. All yeah, I'm happy to do that. Once again, every, everyone is is so generous with their time, kind. It's like, it's, it's a re- and it's just, just an amazing institution. So I just want to encourage you know you're, whether. You've come to campus, you've watched the college tour episode, yeah. you know, someone's told you about it, you're starting this process down this, just don't hesitate to pick up the phone, send an email. That first step of, I'm interested, it, there's some personal responsibility that you need to take because yeah. they can take that from there and mm-hmm. help and guide you and shape you and, and take it. But if they don't know who you are, right. <laughs> it's a hard place to start from. Right. So I just want to encourage yeah. the audience out there to um, yeah. reach out. There's a team, as I just said, there's 100 years of experience on his team. They're ready to help. Yeah, so absolutely. This absolutely. is um, this go Noak. Yeah, yeah, this has been awesome. I hope so. Thank you, Spend the time. Hope so. Thank Thanks you. For once again, thank you us. for having the, the college tour here. It's just been an absolute blast. Good. Just, you know, once again, this campus is, is so beautiful, tucked in the Blue Ridge Mountain. I mean, this is yeah. a pretty awesome place to go to college. Yeah. It I'm really not is. heading anywhere else. <laughs> I'm staying right here. Well, absolutely. Awesome. Thank you, Tommy. All right. All right we'll see you next time, everyone. Take thank care. You.